हेलो स्टूडेंट्स डॉक्टर पूनम हियर विद अ न्यू एसे द प्रेज ऑफ चिमनी स्वीपर्स रिटन बाय चार्ल्स लैम्प द प्रेज ऑफ चिमनी स्वीपर्स इज अ मेमोरेबल एसे चीफली बिकॉज ऑफ द फीलिंग ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी विच परवेड्स इट It does not matter that chimney sweeps are no longer working anywhere we still enjoy the essay the essay shows lamps essential kindness and generosity towards the poor especially the children the lines ring with affection and tender feeling the very epithets dim blots poor specks innocent blackness indicate affection Lamb declares that he does not mind even slipping on the street to produce some amusement for the chimney sweep for the boy's laughter has no malice in it he asks his readers to be generous to the little sweeps who work so hard for their age Elia Lamb who is who has written the essays under the name of elia remarks that he likes to meet young chimney sweepers boys who have just recently started out in the profession lamp tells us that he feels a deep attachment for the young chimney sweeps who appear at the crack of dawn crying out sweep sweep which sounds like the chirping of birds Lam feels a great sympathy for these small boys who climb the high chimneys to clean them. He gives them many poetic epithets, as I told you, dim specks, poor blots, and so on. As a child, he used to wonder at the sweep climbing up the high chimney from inside, brushing its walls, and emerging from the top. Lamb urges his readers to show sympathy for these poor boys and be generous to them whenever they can for they truly deserve it. Lamb describes a peculiar con- concoction which was particularly liked by these young sweeps. Lamb himself finds the drink too unpalatable judging from the smell coming out of it actually lamb is talking the sasa fresh tea which is a favorite drink with the sweeps he lamb has never tasted it some however find it tastier than even china tea a man called mr reed had a shop on the south side of fleet street where he sold this wholesome and pleasant beverage these shops were very popular with the laborers setting out for work in the morning if one wants to show generosity to a sweep one should buy him a large basin of this brew called sasa fras it would not cost much but it would make the little boy very happy the sweep would be ever so grateful and clean your chimney extra well Lamb did not like to be laughed at but he did not mind a sweep's laughter once in the course of a walk lamb had slipped on a wet road and fallen a mischievous chimney sweep standing by had laughed till the tears flowed down his cheeks lamb felt happy then he had given some pleasure to the child so when elia is not very interested in a fine set of teeth indifferent to the nice teeth of a well of man or woman he is captivated by the teeth of a chimney sweep as they smile through their soot covered faces lamp 
fancifully suggests that sweeps have some connection with noble families. And he tells that Lamp, he, Lamp has one friend. He has a friend. The name of the friend is Jem White or James White. So he is Elia's friend, has similar feeling about the boys and hosts an annual feast for young chimney sweepers where the elder ones are excluded. Elia mourns the death of James White who took half the fun of the world when he died. So his friend used to give an annual dinner for young sweeps. Means every year he organized a dinner for these children who sweep chimneys because he was so much full of sympathy for them. This feast was held in the enclosures on the site of St. Barthros Mew, fair at Smithfield. Jim White used to act the part of host with great enthusiasm and used to personally look to the needs of the guest. He treated them as if they were aristocrats and recommended the best dish, dish, dishes and fed them with tasty bits of food. He was a very popular host with the sweeps and there was a great deal of merrymaking at the dinner ending with the toast. He says that he moans at the death of James White who took half of, half of the fun of the world when he died. Lamb's ode to chimney sweepers most closely resembles his praise of old China as in both essays he expands on a pet obsession which few others in the world see the merit in. Lamb clearly saw himself as something of an advocate for the underappreciated things in life. Perhaps it is best to think of the praise of chimney sweepers as the peculiar time capsule which shows us early 19th century Britain. Warts and all with chimney swept by little orphan boys and a white monoculture that saw blackness as something that could be playfully assigned to dirty chimney sweepers. The idea that nobility is something inherent to one's character and not simply a tripping of class echoes Lamb's class critique in grace before meat. There are some uncomfortable aspects of this essay which speak to the very different time that was Lamb's era. Modern readers may bristle at Lamb's invocation of negritude and Africans to describe little white British boys covered in suit. Lamb thinks and he fancifully suggests that sweeps have some connection with noble families because they are usually so polite. He says that they must be children kidnapped from noble families and made to work. This is the belief of Lamb. He supports his arguments with the story of the Montague child who was discovered working as a sweep after being considered lost. Another incident which would indicate the instinctive nobility of the sweeps is that which happened at Arundel Castle there a sweep was discovered asleep in the duke's bed. So Lamb thinks 
that sweeps have some connection with noble families they might have some connection the that's why the child have dared to do so if an inherent feeling of kinship with the noble family had not existed in him so he dared to do so that he found as sleep in duke's bed so he gives this example perhaps it is best to think of the praise of chimney sweepers as a peculiar time capsule although the essay is entitled a uh, in praise of chimney sweepers we get as such information about lamb as of the sweeps the personal pronoun i predominates in the essay apart from the knowledge we get of lamb's kindness and generosity and there are we find so many anecdotes to find to add narrative interest so in this essay like all others of lamb contains anecdotes to illustrate a point or to enliven the narrative lamb's fanciful nature makes him concoct a theory that all chimney sweeps must be in reality the kidnapped children of aristocratic families there is humor and pathos also in this essay we find the essay illustrates lamb's peculiar manner of blending humor with pathos it is a touching as well as humorous observation that the chimney sweeps cry of sweep sweep resembles the cheep cheep of sparrows the different phrases which he uses for the sweeps are amusing so it is so is the description of sasafrasati and the sweeps relish of the drink lamps and daring tendency to make himself a butt of ridicule is shown in the anecdote of how he once slipped on the road in this essay we see the style of charles lamb the essay shows all the characteristics of lamps peculiar style that iteration is in full evidence in the epithets employed for the sweeps dim blots innocent blackness clergy imps poor respects young africans of our own growth and so on lamps liking and use of high sounding polysyllabic words and phrases are also evident in the essay the essay is eloquent in its descriptions when a chimney sweep smiles it seems as if a silver lining has opened itself among the clouds lamp says there is a beautiful description of the young sweep relishing the smell and taste of the sassafras tea remarkably evocative is the description of the feast given by james white we also find in the essay an example of lamb's use of parentheses and dashes punctuating the long sentences so the praise of chimney sweepers is one of lamb's most characteristic essay it is imaginative with tender humor and feeling and written in a beautiful evocative style it could easily fit the description of essay as a lyric in prose when we read the essay we can think we 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 find that the essay is just like a lyric in prose and a fine essay it is a very fine essay 
and it illustrates all the aspects of lamps style so this is a very interesting essay this is this is very eloquent in the descriptions this is all about the essay the praise of chimney sweepers thank you